At a school that features coaching icons such as Ben Howland and Rick Neuheisel, Nikki Caldwell has certainly made a name for herself in just her second season as UCLA's women's basketball head coach. On April 17, 2008, Caldwell was named the Bruins' fifth head coach in team history after winning back-to-back -back national championships as a member of Pat Summit's coaching staff at Tennessee. Additionally, Caldwell won a national championship while playing for the legendary Lady Vol head coach, who Caldwell credits for helping supplant her into the position she is in today. She really taught me that it's not about the X's and O's, and it's not necessarily what you run, um, or what you do, it's how you do it and how you run your action. She's just been somebody who I can always and has and will be able to count on. And I still call her coach, but she's more than coach. Um, she's, she's a great mentor. Um, she's, she's just somebody who I can call my friend. And you don't always have that type of relationship with the player and the coach. But with her, I mean, we have a very uh, unique friendship. During her first season in Westwood, Caldwell guided UCLA to its best start in 28 years. Still, the Bruins finished 19-12 and 12 and failed to make the NCAA tournament, marking the first time Caldwell had missed March Madness either as a player or coach. This year, the three-time national champion has vowed to return to postseason play. Every year, you've got to keep evolving and you've got to keep reevaluating yourself as a coach. Um, we, we evaluate our players, we critique them, um, so, so I, I critique myself, uh, my staff. We met, we talked constantly over the summer, what can we do to better our chances in getting NCAA play. So I, I basically threatened my team, I said, okay, you got one or two options this year. We're going to have spring break. You can have spring break traveling and playing in, in NCAA play, or you can have spring break with me. The Bruins have certainly answered this season's bell tying a school record with 15 Pac-10 regular season wins, notching victories in 14 of their last 16 games, and finishing second in both the Pac-10 regular season and conference tournament. In doing so, Caldwell became the first UCLA women's basketball head coach to be named Pac-10 Coach of the Year. The journey that we've taken to get to 15-3 and three has been unbelievable. You know, we've had our ups and downs. It's been um, a, a, a joyful joyful ride and I'm just enjoying the journey of it all. This group, uh, you know, they've just been very committed and, and they've been disciplined. And when you've got those two, you know, they've, they've, their, their love for the game and you've got those two cornerstones working for you, you know, great things will happen for you. The eighth seeded Bruins will play number nine North Carolina State as part of opening round action in the NCAA tournament in Minneapolis on Sunday. And although Caldwell wants her team to enjoy the travel experience that comes with playing in the tournament, she told me that once the ball is thrown up on Sunday, the fun and games are over. Said Caldwell, we need to handle our business. One game at a time, one opponent at a time, one possession at a time. Reporting from UCLA, I'm Josh Hoffman of Palestra.net for ESPNU.